big, big welcome to all of you. So now we are at lesson or technique number nine, right? Before we had technique number eight, watch the turning point with devotion. And all I want to say about that is that what I found out with this technique is that when I inhale, I get the energy of the universe. I get the energy of the pranic energy. And when I exhale, I imagine I give that which I have found back out into the world, into what people surround me, right? The people that I see or even don't see right sometimes that's very interesting like all the people that you see and the people you don't see so i imagine myself to be able to take the law from the universe in a way that it's the beauty of of a plant right or a flower that's simply here to say look at me I also just inhaled and now I exhale the beauty to you. And yes, I am like this flower. I can also simply just exhale then that which I have understood with that devotion, right? In between the in and exhale, because inhale and exhale, it's almost like it's a, it's an action. And the inhale is an action that um, happens by itself. Nevertheless, I, I need to want it, right? But it's something you do. The exhale is interesting because it's like we exhale not as long as we should. Because if you would exhale really long, then your inhale is automatically deeper. And that's what a lot of people sometimes don't understand is that if we really give the beauty and all that of inside of us, right? If we give that, then we will have again, right? Even double, triple. So now the next one I show you, the number nine down here. And there's three of them, right? Attached to it. So the number nine is lie down as dead, enraged in wrath, <laughs> stay so, or stare without moving an eyelash, or suck something and become the sucking, right? So now you like say, what the heck? They're all three completely different and in a way they're not, right? So I'm gonna explain it to you. So what he's saying is that when we lie down as dead, there is uh, within us the the fact of the emotions and that's why he kind of picked a very strong one which is wrath and wrath is like one of the seven sins right uh, and wrath um, is an emotion that maybe brings out of us extreme energy right extreme emotions and extreme movements and that's what it says because the word emotion the word motion is movement so an emotion is making you move now if you lie down as if dead and you imagine really that you're dead and some of our some of the dead might not be as peaceful as we would like. Maybe you were scared. Maybe you were uh, surprised, right, as well. Maybe you really um, also had pain. So these are all energies that created in you a movement, an emotion. These emotions made you move. And in, in, in the fact of lying there like dead, you cannot move the body. So where does the emotion go? Right? You become aware of what 
a certain emotion makes you do in the body. Now, the second one, or stare without moving an eyelash. And that already generates the third eye, right? Because when we stare, let's say I stare into the flower, and when I stare at something, I always stare at the center of that very object. And when I do that, right, of course, my eyes become quiet and still as well. So this is the next level of stillness that you want to achieve. So these bring you deeper in, right, if you combine them. So either you lay totally still, don't move the body, and now you as well don't move your eyes. And when you don't move your eyes, like I said, the third eye is appearing and you become even deeper aware of where where is maybe that emotion coming from in the sense of like where's the seed in becoming quiet, even more quiet so with the eyes. And then the third one, imagine that you are uh, suck something and become the sucking is that you have an object and a subject, right? There is a, a breast, let's say, and there's my mouth or me that's sucking on the, bre on the breast. And he says, don't be the breast, don't be the one that's sucking, become the act of sucking. And why sucking is because the first breath a child takes is with a scream because it takes the child so much effort to fill its lungs so it's like it's like it's inhaling and it releases after the exhale it gives to the world it's like yes here i am right so it's this And so, of course, he's using the sucking because that's the very first thing a child needs to do with the air that it takes, but then also, of course, with the food, with the breast, it's becoming aware of when we were able to have a mother that gave us, of course, the breast. Some of us, I didn't have a mother who had given me the breast. So for me, this might be actually a very very interesting um, exercise right and to see what comes up here but it's what I want you to understand is that when you take in the first milk of the mother is you are taking the universe in you're taking in the universe in you're taking in the love you're taking in the care you're taking in that there is something right that I suck in and so when you become the sucking, it's you can release all the drama that's maybe really um, connected to this kind of, um, maybe that you didn't have a mother that gave you uh, the breastfeeding, right? Or maybe you were lucky and you kind of go back to that and you realize that's why I am the way I am because I felt back then a very safe, a very strong connection, a very deep connection to the universe, right? So when you become the sucking, it's almost like you again sucking in the air. And here I want to combine a little bit the Wim Hof breathing because with the Wim Hof or the Iceman, right, which I also have videos about, is that you can do the breath like we mm, breathe 40 times like that and then we exhale uh, and we hold for as long as your body is able to hold empty then we inhale again when the body needs to inhale and we again hold just for 15 to 30 seconds right and then we exhale that out and we start round number two 
then three, four, maybe even five, right? At the beginning three is enough. And then you move further up to four rounds and then five rounds. And it's beautiful because it kind of brings you back to that deep inhale of, right? Because you kind of have the mouth like you would have the breast in your mouth and you feel like it's a sucking, right? It feels like it feels like you are sucking the air or the prana back into your body. And then of course we go into the ice cold water and stay in there as long as your body can handle it, right? And then you of course move it further and further. But if you're interested, I have Wim Hof uh, playlist. There are all my videos in there, so you can have a look at it. So. This is, of course, now when you see, right, this is a combination of three. Now he says or, right, the one or the other or the third, and I will combine them, right, for today, for this video. Otherwise, I have too many videos then. But you can either do one and then the second one and then the third one separate, or you do it with me right now together. So come sit down in your chair again, lean into the back of the chair, right hand on top of the left, thumb touching, and let's close our eyes together. Immediately feel how the breath is streaming into your nostrils, and again out of your nostrils. Become as well aware of your belly rising up with the inhale and the belly rising in or going back in with the exhale. Just become aware of this movement. Gently notice how you bring in the future with the inhale and how the future in that moment becomes the past while you exhale. Become quiet through the breath, focus fully on the inhale and fully on the exhale. You cannot move your body at all. The only thing that moves is your in and your exhale. Your belly button moving up and moving down. But in the rest of your body, you become completely still. frozen, even. And then imagine, even if there's an emotion rising, you cannot move. The only way for you to release the emotion 
is by exhaling. Then let's add the third eye, the focusing of your two eyes into the center of the forehead, just slightly higher than your eyebrows, so that your eyes as well become completely still. Through that focus, you start noticing that thinking is slowly leaving you. But if there's a thought coming, you can always, of course, exhale it out. Focus your eyes on the spot right between your eyebrows, the third eye. Holding your two eyes completely still. And the third one we add, you can, if you want, open your lips gently and inhale like you're sucking in the air, you're sucking in prana. Exhale through the nose. Imagine really you become a baby, a child, a suckling.
continue like this. If you like to open your eyes with me. Continue either separate, lying on your back, right? And really imagine the death situation. Imagine the feelings, right, that, that arise. And then, of course, the emotions that make you want to move. Or then again, add the uh, third eye, right? Focusing on the eyes. Of course, in the books itself, he stares. He's not having his eyes closed, but I feel that if your eyes are closed, it's much more harder to stay quiet because the lubrication or even your eyes might tear up, right? So it's with the eyes closed right now to begin with. And then if you want to once in a while keep your eyes open, you can, of course, do that. And then the last one, right, also that you can just do by itself. Become the sucking, right? You're not the breast, you're not the baby. You are just the act of sucking, the prana, the life energy into your body. And then when you exhale, you give it like this flower, just free. I open, I give because I took, like a baby, the milk from the universe, from God, from the higher consciousness, right? I took it in and now I can give it with the exhale and be so open like a flower. So this is the ninth technique, nine, right? Very beautiful also a completion happening here. And now we start a new round of the number 10, right? In the next video. So Thank you so much for being with me and practicing these uh, types of meditation with me. Namaste.